Route 66 brings back memories, doesn't it? Even if you never put the pedal to the metal on that iconic road, you still knew all about it through the popular song, you know, Get Your Kicks on Route 66. Well, it's not too late to take that trip. Photographer David Schwartz has invited us to go along for the ride through his exhibit titled Picks on Route 66, showing at the Western Reserve Historical Society through February 1st. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, this stretch of road, it was called America's Main Street. What drove you to photograph it? Well, it's interesting that you uh, mentioned Bobby Troop's song, Route 66. Uh, back in 88, when I was in high school, Depeche Mode had covered that song, and they were my favorite band at the time. <laughs> and uh, I would sit back and listen to that and just kind of envision what it might, must have been like to travel that road and, you know, kind of what was left of it at this point since it had been decommissioned. So you, how, how many times have you been on the road? Well, I've, since 2004, I've actually traveled it five times now. Okay. And um, what did you find when you went there? Well, um, it, it's really very interesting what you see out there on the road. Um, there's areas of vast desolation. Um, you can roll into towns that have been preserved very nicely. And then, you know, along the road, it's just very, very interesting architecture. What are we um, looking at there in the picture? Um, this is actually out in Arizona um, at a place called the Hackberry General Store. Um, I just really like the lighting going on there that day, and uh, there's a lot of great little still lifes going on there at Hackberry. And this is? Uh, this is out in the middle of the Mojave Desert, uh, some of that vast desolation I was talking about. And uh, this is just the old, runner, old Roadrunner restaurant there. Huh. This? This guy's a character here. This is Bob uh, Delgadillo, and uh, they're at the snow cap there in Arizona, and he plays pranks on you while they wait on you. Actually, he's <laughs> since passed away. A wonderful, wonderful guy. Oh, I remember old Sinclair. We used to have those around here. Yeah. What's this? Uh, this is uh, Gary Turner's Sinclair Station. Uh, this is one of my newer images. I just shot this one this past summer. Um, really great place to stop. Great person to talk to. Is one of the people you roll in there, uh, you know, expecting to say hello, and you go out several hours later after having a great conversation. So all these pictures we're looking at are in your exhibit at uh, the Western Reserve? Yes, uh, there's 57 of them currently, and I, I have hundreds of images, and I'm still growing the body of work, and I keep going back time what after time. What kind of reaction do you get when people go to the exhibit? Uh, probably the number one reaction that I seem to get is, wow, Route 66, that's on my bucket list. And uh, <laughs> I hear that quite a bit. Um, sometimes I'll get uh, nice stories out of people talking about they traveled it for work or, uh, well, you, know. you know. The pictures are such a great, uh, uh, vivid way for us to do it, even if we can't go ourselves. Thanks, David, for Thank doing you. this. Appreciate it. Ready to hit the road? You can drive the Super Information Highway to see some of David's photos at www.picksonroute66.com including a 2011 calendar, or visit them on Facebook, or better yet, take a detour, drive to the Western Reserve Historical Society, and you can enjoy the photos in person. For your trip tick, call the number that's coming up next. To learn more, call the Western Reserve Historical Society at 216-721-5722, or click to www.wrhs.org. Next, Following Dr.